Hello and welcome to April's Mixed Media Menagerie. This month we have um, Michelle joining us, aka Mickelnay, on Instagram. Um, she'll be our guest artist for April. And this month we are focusing on using a photo transfer and either coffee or walnut ink as well as vintage colors. This photo transfer thing is something that I'm not super familiar with doing. Um, I've, n I've done it a little bit, <clears throat> but never with like super amazing results. Um, but I'm also at the same time not the pickiest person when it comes to how I want things to turn out. I, I like kind of more of a distressed look. So we're going to see how it works. I'm going to use um, the gel medium technique and I'll be using uh, magazine pictures as well as book page, um, doing a book page transfer. So I have this, I wanted to do like a floral kind of theme because it is April and we are in springtime and um, you know flowers blooming and everything like that. Especially here in Central Texas, the wildflowers are starting to pop up. Um, on my way to work I can see them and it's really pretty. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is lay down. I have this thick gel matte medium um, that I put down first and then I put the picture down on top of it facing down so you want to whatever picture you want to show up needs to be the picture that you adhere to your paper um, and then I'm gonna do the same with the book pages and you want to make sure that it's really stuck on there so you want to try to get out all of the matte medium that might be hanging out underneath so I'm kind of approaching this the way <clears throat> I would normally approach like if I were to glue down pictures underneath or book pages or collage papers underneath my paint and stuff like that. I'm doing that except I am kind of, you know, obviously reversing it because we want the the transfer to be there rather than, you know, just sticking down the paper and painting over top of it. So the way you let the gel medium dry and then you wet down the paper and you peel off the layers. So what should be left is just the ink from the other side so just the image so you want to make sure that your gel medium is really really dry for this and um so you might want to leave it i didn't i think i left it for a few hours i didn't leave it overnight or anything and it seemed pretty dry so you have to rub at it it is a very messy process i'll say um, because you get all that paper pulpy stuff and it kind of gets everywhere um, but you just rub it up real good and then you have the images there transferred which is pretty I mean it's pretty cool it's like magic um, and so we're gonna do the same process I, I'm, I'm gonna cut out some of it because you don't need to see me you know struggling to rub up some of the paper I will say that the magazine paper was a lot easier to get off than the book pages um, which I found kind of interesting so I did this this was like a there was a design for like a plate on the other side and it had birds and flowers and stuff and I thought it was pretty cool so I just pulled that out and kind of put that back there um, because we're kind of, you know, I'm kind of experimenting with this too. I am no, as I said, I am no um, image transfer expert or anything like that. Um, but now we're going to peel up some of the flowers and see how that looks. It looks like it's turning out really well. Um, and see how it kind of came up in like some layers rather than just blobs. Um, so that's cool. And I like how it's kind of like rustic almost 
um, where you have the lines and stuff, so it wasn't perfect, obviously. Um, so now I'm going to use some clear gesso to kind of seal everything. You could use, you know, your regular matte medium or um, regular gesso if you wanted. I'm using clear gesso because I wanted the images to obviously show through. I wanted to seal everything and I also wanted to give a ground for the paint layers that's going to go on top. So the paint this or the colors this month were vintage colors. I kind of chose to run with that um, in more of like a colorful way than I, I feel like maybe we had kind of talked about because vintage colors I mean that can be a lot of things. Are we 1970s vintage? Are we 1940s vintage? Like what kind of vintage are we talking about? Pretty sure 1990s are considered vintage right now. So, you know, you could do anything. So I chose this kind of pink and minty kind of palette. I had kind of Googled for some inspiration and, you know, Pinterested and stuff to see, you know, what kind of vintage color palettes were out there and ultimately I ended up with like a a deeper kind of pink bluey minty palette so that's where we are <laughs> um and it kind of goes with the flowers that I put down now I didn't necessarily like the green there's like a deep green background on those flowers and that doesn't go with what I wanted to do. So I'm going to try to cover that up without completely covering the flowers. But at the same time, I want the flowers to be like cohesive and not necessarily be in the foreground. So it's going to be kind of a balancing act with the paint and the different layers that um, I end up doing. So now I'm going to go in with some stenciling. I'm using my mint color to add this um, crosses stencil. The, the stencil is technically called medieval crosses, um, but it kind of just reminds me of a, a vintage motif and just wanted to add, you know, some stenciling throughout. And you can see that I kind of allowed the paint to go over some of those flowers there. Um, so that it would be, you know, integrated into the uh, journal page. All right, so now we are going to do the play with the coffee. I'm using instant coffee. Um, I had debated on whether I wanted to buy walnut ink because I've never used it before. I've never, I don't have any. Um, but I decided to stick with my tried and true instant coffee grounds. So I laid them all throughout the spread and then I am wetting them down with my water bottle. And then I'm spreading some of that around to the areas I want it to be. If you just kind of leave it, you get sort of like this spotty effect, which can be cool. I like the texture of that and I kind of do some of you know leave some of that around the edges um, as you can see so now I am going on top of the coffee with some white acrylic paint through this Umla Studio stencil kind of com continuing the floral theme um, the white paint 
is going to get changed a little bit by the coffee because the coffee is not like it's water soluble right it's not like permanent so it's going to kind of the white paint is kind of gonna kind of pick up some of that coffee a little bit so now I am working on the focal point here for the spread and I decided that I wanted to keep going with this whole image transfer theme so I took some I have the this like um, like plant I have a couple of books with plants in them and so I, I use some of the dr drawings and diagrams from that for the image transfer and now I'm going over the transfer with some gesso I'm using regular gesso this time because I kind of wanted to push these little pictures into the background um, and then we're gonna go over them with some paint So I was debating on what to use for the focal point and everything, and then I looked over and saw this little botanical, uh, Dino Weekly Media Chipboard Botanical, so I decided to use that, and I decided to use the, still with the same kind of vintage color scheme, this pink is a little lighter than the pink I used in the background because I didn't want it to just like blend in with everything else, and then I'm gonna add some of the mint paint to the tag the mint kind of got lost I feel like you know I used it for the um, the crosses stencil but it doesn't really like show up I guess in the background there so I decided to use that on the tag to offer a little bit of contrast and to mix it with some coffee. So this little jar I had used for coffee a, a while ago and um, so it kind of like dried into a film at the bottom so if you just re-wet it, it works. And so I wanted to mix that coffee in with the paint. And then I have this other little tag that I had sitting on my desk that I decided I wanted to use in the corner there. And I have some of this gauze. I think it's either gauze or cheesecloth. Um, so I'm using that underneath the tag, underneath my focal point, and then um, putting the, the botanical shape kind of at the bottom, not right in the middle or anything like that to kind of give it a little more interest. And then I'm gonna put the tiny little tag up in the other corner um, to kind of cover up that transition that I don't really like up there. And um, yeah, kind of make it look better and then make that side just not entirely empty. So then I have my favorite Tim Holtz chip quotes and I'm cutting up the words so I can arrange them on the tag on the left to be my like focal phrase. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do on the right over there, but then I found this little um, chipboard shape from Umwa Studio. It was just sitting on my desk and I thought it would be perfect to continue that botanical theme and also add a little bit to that side. And I didn't paint it or anything like that because, you know, we were using the vintage colors and I thought that the brown of the chip went with it. Then I'm going to use this Lindy's um, spray that is, I think it's like oat, golden oat or something like that. And when it dries, it turns super shiny. As you can see, like it's so like sparkly and pretty and it goes with that vintage theme, you know, of the, it's a dark kind of brown, but it sparkles and shines and shimmers and it's super pretty. So that is it for the project. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about image transfers and maybe you'll try it. 
play along with us, use the hashtags Mixed Media Menagerie and MMMAPR22 um, on Instagram and YouTube. So that way we can see your projects and see what you're doing. If you ever want to join us and put out a video with us, you can fill out the um, guest application, which I have a link below. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll play along with us.